Hey guys, it's Joey from Class Day Video Productions coming to you on my 31st birthday, which has been really quiet because of the coronavirus that's going on here. I have two gifts to unbox, although one of them is running late, so I will be unboxing that one tomorrow. But here is the first one. This is a Wordsworth and Black Majesty M A J E S T I medium nib fountain pen. It's got classic black with the gold trim. It's got a checkered pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and note that I've never tried this brand before. So, this is going to be completely new. Alright. Oh, look at that gift box. That is pretty. Oh, and it's leather. Wow. It's got the Wordsworth and Black logo and scribed on there too very nice and there it is now it comes with ink cartridges but as usual I'm going to use the bottled ink and I believe it also comes with oh wow it's heavy I believe it comes with a converter as well This is a twist. Yeah, this is a twist off. I think. Yeah. Just took a minute. Yeah, see, so yeah, it's a converter. Cartridge converter style. Uh, okay. So, let's anchor up. Now, it says it's a medium nib. But it's probably a Japanese style nib because it looks like it's on the fine side. Kind of like a Pilot Metropolitan. That's a pretty good fill, but I think I can probably do a little bit better than that. Let's see. Ah, much better. Okay, I'm gonna get a towel and wipe off the excess ink on the grip se section and the nib there. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this pen is that it's got silver trimming and design, but a gold nib. I think they should have stuck with the silver for the nib, but other than that, I think it looks really good. But it's got the Wordsworth and Black inscribed on there as well, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to the writing sample. It is a very heavy pen, so uh, let's see. There we go. Just had to wake up a little bit there. Oh, wow. Holy crap, that's nice. Okay. Alright, so this is a Wordsworth and Black Majesty medium nib. And like I said, you can see that it's more on the fine side. Um, and I've actually started kind of writing in an italic. style let's 
so you might notice that my handwriting looks a tad different when I show you the writing sample. Um, can hear rain on my window as well kind of a drudgy night um, anyway okay so it is a twist on twist off cap and as you can see it just does a wonderful job of writing but uh, one thing to actually note is that the nib looks very thin but when you look at the actual writing style as you can clearly see it's um, definitely a much wider line than the nib looks like it would write. The nib looks like it would write a very fine line, but as you can see, it's a very, very pronounced medium, almost on the broad side kind of line. And it looks very authoritative, I guess would be a good word for it. Um, it was kind of dry at the start as you can see right there but um once i got it going it was just a very smooth very pleasant writing experience and um i had never actually written with this brand before this brand is um completely new to me but i highly recommend one it's just amazing like for real it looks like a basically two hundred to five hundred dollar fountain pen, but in fact, it's actually it's actually only about, I think. $20, I think it was, 20 or 30 something like that, I don't really remember, anyway, it wasn't much, it's nowhere near as much money as it looks, it's definitely something that would be worth a try, now, if you like a light weight pen, like a plastic pen, like for example, a Wisby Eco or something of the like you will probably not really like this pen it's metal and it's very heavy um, but it's very um, it really feels like you have a pen in your hand like you're definitely writing with something. And I went ahead and wrote Wordsworth in black and cursive. Um, my cursive isn't too great, but um, I did my best. It needs work, but... And I've started the uh, whole italic print type lettering just to try something different for, you know, writing and stuff. But yeah, so 
and then of course like I said you have these Wordsworth and black um, cartridges it comes with uh, looks like I got some ink on my hands I'll get that later um, the ink cartridges come in here and they're the um, looks like the standard international type yeah see they got these are the blue kind and yeah basically it's just a normal kind looks like maybe that part might be a little smaller but um, if I ever run out of ink uh, it'll be good to have these as a spare I don't know how good the ink is for these is I'm I like using bottled ink just because there's more colors available you can also get different colors for you know a cartridge for cartridges too but I just like the old-fashioned you know turning the converter and pulling the drawing the ink through there I just like the old-fashioned style of that but this pen is really really heavy I would estimate it to be at least 30 grams Probably I don't have something to weigh it on, but it's very heavy, and I've said that before. But it's definitely it's not a plastic acrylic pen. It's uh, definitely all metal, and it looks like something that Mont Blanc would make. In fact, uh, Mont Blanc has something kind of similar to this called a Star Walker, but this is much cheaper and actually probably just as nice um, but yeah so I'd highly recommend it um, Wordsworth and Black to twist off cap and it does come in other colors too I think it comes with a black and gold trim and there's a red and gold trim or there's like three or four I think two or three maybe four different other colors that comes in the nib's a little gross right now because I got Private Reserve Naples Blue ink on it and it, I didn't wipe all of it off, but um, it's got kind of a ribbed grip, so I don't know how that would be for long writing sessions, but yeah, so far so good. I would definitely recommend one of these. So anyway, uh, when my tripod comes in, I'll do an unboxing of that. But for now, that's all I got. So this is Joey and Film Clash A Video Productions, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.